At 3.45 p.m. local time in Cape Canaveral. SpaceX rocket Falcon Heavy blasted into the atmosphere. Thousands gathered at the Kennedy Space Center and 1.5 million live-streamed the highly anticipated event. The 70-meter-long rocket was propelled into orbit using the power of its 27 engines, making it the most powerful rocket in use. Minutes after liftoff, already an achievement for the mission, the two side boosters successfully flew themselves back to land as planned. Recuperating and revamping used boosters is a cost-cutting technique SpaceX is trying to hone. The rest of Falcon Heavy continued its way into space with no astronauts on board, but a dummy in the driver's seat of CEO Elon Musk's first car. Any new rocket system's first launch is going to be all about gathering data. And so you, you don't want to put a mission-critical payload on it. So Elon's having a little fun uh, and putting his first Tesla Roadster, his first car, uh, as the payload and sending it on kind of a fun journey uh, into Mars orbit while playing a David Bowie song. Musk hopes to add bigger astronaut-carrying rockets to his fleet after perfecting cargo-only Falcon Heavy. His ultimate ambition is to reach Mars. But until then, this latest project has cemented SpaceX's status as one of the leaders in the global space industry and paved the way for the company to win more lucrative contracts with institutions such as NASA and the U.S. military.